Hi, this is Sean, and this is a video for Sean's Model Builds, uh, part of the other hobby I discussed a few months ago, my hobby of collecting Motu Origins action figures, because, as you know, I had Motu Vintage action figures as a kid, and I've recently added to my collection because I found a Vintage Orco, and a vintage Evil Lynn. Evil Lynn has her weapon. So I decided that I'm going to create some more room on my shelves by opening up a few Motu Origins figures. And I figured I would start with He-Man, Skeletor, and their two respective steeds, Battle Cat and Panthor. I will keep the boxes, of course, you know, to put the figures, the them back in. I will keep at least the card back because if you look at the card back, it has uh, good card art, which matches the, um, the Hot Wheels. So I'm going to open up the first uh, figure carefully to preserve the card back, and I'll be uh, right back with that. All right, I'm back. I ran into a little snag. The uh, exacto blade knife keeps separating so i'm gonna have to turn to the cheese knife and see if uh, that'll uh cut it free of the curd back successfully so i'm gonna tilt the camera here so that you can see and yeah that, that, that should be good enough all right here we go i'm gonna make sure to cut away from me of course don't want to damage the comic Alright, I'm gonna, if that's not working, steak knife. Be right back. Alright, we'll see if this works. And if it doesn't, I have uh, one more strategy. It's a, just a big pair of scissors. Alright, here we go. Ah! Well, it's kind of working. Yeah, 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 here we go. Remember, careful. Don't want to damage the card back. Just want to be able to, ah, or the comic. Yeah, or the comic. Okay. There we go. That's better. Getting somewhere now. Here we go. Here we go. That's good. That way you don't damage the card back. go. Just a little trim here. A little separation anxiety the figures have in it. Surprise. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we don't want to keep the plastic. Here's the comic, which is still somewhat trapped. So that's where I'm going to get the uh, scissors to slide the comic out so it doesn't get damaged and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Just a little trimming with the uh, tiny scissors, carefully. Just like trimming model decals, that's what this is like. Here we go. See? Actually, I'm going to turn it so the outer edge faces away from the uh, comic. That doesn't accidentally cut it. There we go. There we go. Okay. There. That's that section. Then we have to uh, go here. There we go. That way the blade doesn't touch the comic at all. And then just along there. There you go. So. Use the plastic as a repository. Found the good pair of scissors. And if I did my job properly, there we are. Carefully slide the comic out. Now let's see. So you see, the card back is preserved, not damaged. And you still got the backing, so I will keep that. 
So let's take a look at this comic. Again, another comic with no, uh, no words, just actions. It's pretty good. All right. And this little paper is the uh, ah, the actions for He-Man. Okay, removable parts. The feet, the arms, and the head. Okay, so I'm going to try to get him out of his package carefully. Don't want to make a bunch of noise, and I'll be back when I've done that. Okay, so as you can see here, I have got He-Man... Uh, He's, uh, there we go. He's all, uh, together now. Standing upright. Bet you can straighten his legs more than you could in the vintage figure. There you go. There we are. And he got his sword, his axe, and his shield now. I don't know how he's going to hold both at the same time. You can see his sword is a lighter gray than either the axe or the shield. So let's, uh... Let's put his sword in the harness. There we go. Still standing well. Good. And his axe. Okay, let's see here. His axe will go in that hand, I'm sure. There you are. There. Good. Now, should be able to... Oh, okay, there's how he holds his uh, axe. So he holds it in this hand. So that it can fit on his forearm. Good. There we go. So there we are. There is He-Man holding his axe. And his sword. I mean his axe and his shield with his sword in the back. Okay, so that's uh, that's He-Man. That took a bit longer than I thought, but at least I got the general procedure down. Now the good news is I already took Battle Cat out of his box once before, so that'll be relatively easier. So I'll get him out, put He-Man on him, and I'll be back with that. Okay, so there we go. We have He-Man on Battle Cat, somewhat mimicking the pose on the card. Not exactly. But at least he's on there. And so I will uh, unpackage Skeletor next. You can see Skeletor here. His card's on Hunch, so that's another reason to keep the card. So I'll do that, and I'll be back. All right, so I got the uh, the Skeletor figure out. Here we go. Got the comic free relatively easily. At first glance, I think I think it's the exact same comic as before. So no real uh, difference in that one. Except this one is labeled. The Skeletor comic is labeled with a title. Still doesn't have a... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to have to be a bit more careful uh, getting the comics out. But these ones don't have any words yet, so... That's no problem there. Hmm. Alright, now to get him out of his uh, package here get his accessories out first so I'll do that and be right back <clears throat> got Skeletor's accessories out, the Havoc Sap and the sword 
So now it's just up to get the figure out, and I'll be right back. Well, I needn't have paused the video to get the figure out because he's coming out relatively easily. It's just a little uh, attachment by the foot area here. There one. There the second. There you go. There you go. Got him out. got the attachment tendrils out from around his uh <coughs> there oh wait don't don't put a sword in the garbage thing now we gotta stand him up so i'll be right back all right so there's a slightly different scene from the back of the box but there is he-man and skeletor facing off skeletor with his havoc staff he-man with his uh sword so I will put those uh, two figures up on the shelf and I'll be right back with the other, his mount. Okay, so I got uh, Panthor out of his uh, box. So we'll see if we can uh, get his feet right so that... Uh, we'll have to see which one of his legs move, don't we? That leg moves. This leg doesn't move much at all. There. So, put him facing that way. There, that's stable. Okay, here we go. Putting Skeletor on now. Spreading his legs out a bit. Raise the staff up. Put him like that. There he is. Facing off against He-Man on their mounts, just as they are in my vintage collection. I kind of did that deliberately. So what I'll do now is I'll put them on the top shelf and we'll see how they look because I'll have space to put the figures in the spots they vacated. So there we are. Uh, He-Man and Skeletor facing off in front of Castle Grayskull and some of the other figures are now on the second shelf. And Prince Adam and his Sky Sled, as well as the He-Man and Battle Cat 2-pack, have been moved onto the other shelf. Now, eventually, by opening the figures and the vehicles on both this shelf and this shelf, I should be able to have Motu Origins on most of these shelves. So that's about it for the... Uh, this unboxing video, it's about 15 minutes long, and this will make a good uh, preview image, I think, this one in particular. For, uh, oh, let me just shift uh, He-Man a bit. There, that should do it. That's more centered for the display. And there they are, facing off on their mounts with Castle Grayskull in the background. So I will uh, post this video. This is going to be Deshaun's model builds. I'm going to create a 
playlist from O2 Origins, and I'll put it on the Facebook groups as well. So talk to you all later, and have a good night.